Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my long-awaited St. Lucian cocoa tea recipe. As you guys may not be aware, October is considered the month of Creole month back in St. Lucia and this month I will be showing you quite a few of our local recipes starting with our cocoa tea. So just a quick ingredient breakdown and just to note these are all local ingredients from St. Lucia. I'm using some cinnamon, we've got some bay leaves these are the local bay leaves, but you can use any other bay leaves that you have. I've got some star anise. I've got some nutmeg. As you can see, the nutmeg is still in the casing. And I will show you how to break it up in a bit. We've got some sugar. We've got about two tablespoons of plain flour. We've got a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Some evaporated milk and condensed milk. We've also got our cocoa stick, which is the most important ingredient in our cocoa tea okay this was made by my grandpa back in January and I just stored it in the fridge you're also gonna need a grater for grating your cocoa stick let us get started with this wonderful recipe so first things first to four cups of water I'm gonna be adding in my bay leaves my star anise spice as well as my cinnamon okay I'm also gonna be peeling my nutmeg as you can see it's got this casing over it and I will be putting the casing in there like so, okay? Brilliant. So to break your nutmeg, you go in with a bottle like so, okay? As you can see, it's pretty easy and then you open it and you discard the shell, all right? So as you can see, our pot is coming up to a boil and this is time for me to grate my cocoa and my nutmeg. We're going to be using the smaller side of the grater and you want to be grating like so. Okay, and as you can see, it grates into a powdery form. Okay, so I'm going to be grating about an inch or two of this cocoa stick. So there you have it. We have a nice amount grated. I'll be using this side for the nutmeg. And I'm only putting about quarter of the nutmeg. So as you can see, this is the nice powder that we got from the cocoa, okay? And as you can see, it's nice and smooth. Pretty cool, right? And we also have the nutmeg in there as well. So I will be adding that to my pot. Okay, so as you can see, our cinnamon, our bay leaves, our star anise and everything has basically just made the water look so beautiful. It's got a nice reddish brown color coming on and that is just because of the cinnamon, all right? So I'm now going in with my cocoa, my grated cocoa and I will be mixing it up like so, okay. And it's already looking so chocolatey. I will allow my cocoa to boil for at least five minutes so it can cook before we go in and add in our sugar and milk and all the other ingredients, okay? As you can see, it's boiling away nicely and this has been boiling for the past five minutes, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and show you my own little trick, how I like to thicken my cocoa tea, all right? So with the flour that I had earlier, I will be adding about half a cup of water to it, like so. And then I will be using a fork and that is just to thicken up that um, flour and water mixture, okay? Now this is optional, but this is just something that I like to do. And it is something that I've seen my grandparents do, okay? So you just want to put some water in your flour and then you're just gonna mix it up till it makes a nice thick floury paste, okay? And then you're gonna pour it in there like so and stir it immediately, okay? So as you can see, our flour has nicely dissolved. So now I'm going in with my milk, okay? I like to add in tin milk first okay because i like my cocoa tea to be nice and milky and you just want to stir that up as you go along all right and it's gonna taste so good guys it's gonna taste amazing as you can see it's already looking so nice and milky 
okay there we go so I like to add in about half a can of milk as well as half a can of condensed milk now you just want to stir that up guys this is so rich and creamy and it is just gonna be so so delicious okay you want to stir it in and then you want to check for sugar okay you want to check how sweet it is check for sugar okay gonna put a little bit on your hand like so and taste it mm. it is actually sweet but it's not sweet enough okay so I will be going in with my sugar I may not add all I will just add some in and then I will stir and taste till I get my desired taste okay now I'm aware that everybody has different sugar preferences so you can choose to just leave it with the condensed milk only or you can choose to sweeten it it's up to you okay so now that my sugar in there is perfect okay I'm gonna go ahead and add in my vanilla essence now this is optional but I love to add in my vanilla essence okay as you can see this is boiling so so beautifully look at that that just looks amazing see so so nice and thick just amazing I just love seeing it boil like this so I will add in my vanilla essence okay and then you just want to turn that off and just stir that vanilla essence in like so guys look at that this deliciousness look at that now I actually love to let it sit for at least 10 minutes so that it can cool down just a little bit because as you may not know, cocoa tea is something that is extremely hot and the cocoa in there really, really holds so much heat, okay? So to be able to enjoy this better, I like to allow it to cool just a little bit, at least 10 minutes, that way you can enjoy it better, okay? So I hope this recipe is so easy to follow and I will be pouring a nice hot cup so you guys can see, okay? So I'm using the technique that my granny would usually do and she'd usually just use a cup like so and she would just pour it over into the cup. So I'm showing you how it's done traditionally. Okay. Gonna put one more bit in there like so. There you have it. Now you can choose to strain this if you want but I don't like to strain mine. So there you have it my loves, my delicious cup of hot cocoa tea. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I will be adding a few extras to show you how this cocoa tea is usually enjoyed. We normally have it on a Sundays or whenever it's raining back in St. Lucia. So I hope you enjoy this piece of my culture. It looks amazing. So nice and rich. Will literally keep you so warm and nice. Alright, so... Thank you so much for watching and I will add in some extras so you can see how this is enjoyed. Amazing, you can enjoy it with some fry bakes.